Hello and welcome to another support and training video on the brush and bake system from Coleman & Company. Uh, that includes Hotfix Era, Rhinestone Design Software, and the GraphTech CE6000-40 Plotter and the Robo Pro, as well as using Sticky Flock with the system. And today what we're going to do is answer a question about printer settings. So for example, when I go up right now, I've just done this little box here with the uh, rhinestones inside so I have something to work with. I'm going to go up to the menu up here and go to Send and Send Hotfix to cutter, cutter as I normally would. I always include the frame. When I hit Send, I get this menu up here. It's a regular Windows print menu. You'll see my GraphTech CE6000 is selected. And when I go to Properties, these are just regular printer properties. So, you know, you've got 11 by 17, you've got millimeter properties, you've got 8.5 by 11, everything that you might see if you were just had a regular printer hooked up, um, plus a few in there that, that the plotter driver automatically installed. So it's a little bit problematic here if you've got a 14.5 inch by a five yard sticky flock roll that's obviously not one of the settings. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and provided those settings to you. You either got them by email or you can download them from the website or from our blog post. But however you got them, I'm going to show you how to install them right now and make your life much easier. So what I'm going to do is on my version of Windows, I'm going to go to Start and then click on Printers and Faxes. You may have to go to the control panel or my computer, but here's where we click and you see that my GraphTech CE6000 is already my default printer. I'm just going to right click and then choose Printing Preferences. Once I do that you'll see a mirror of what we just saw as the printer driver inside Hotfix Era. What we've done is provide you with, um, with the settings that you need to upload already. So just go to Options and I'm just going to make sure that sorting, start up the controller, and this one especially is checked. So driver, printer folder, settings take priority. Now when I choose register, I don't know why they call it that, um, it opens up this dialog box. I'm going to hit open. And then the file that I'm looking for is a GPT file. I've got it here on my desktop, um, also on a, on a stick drive. But however you get it, download or whatever, the sticky printer settings, .gpt is what you're looking for. I'm going to click open and then I'm just going to close this box and apply. Now when I go back over to paper now you'll see I already have paper size sticky flock. So what we've done is we've done presets for the 14 inch roll, that's 14R, the 9 inch roll, and the 12 by 14 and 12 by 18 sticky flock sheets. So once you pick these um, the software will automatically know the size of the material that you're using. So now watch. I'm going to click OK, close this out. Now when I go back into Hotfix Era, go to the menu, go to Send, Send Hotfix to Cutter, include my frame, click Send. Now I'm at the Properties area where I was before, the Print dialog box. I'm going to click on Properties. Now look at that. There's Sticky Flock 12 by 18. I'm going to set it to my 14 inch roll that I'm using. There we go. It's just checking all the settings are correct. Click OK. And I'm just going to make that roll paper. And there you go. So what this is going to do is this is going to tell the machine that, you know, this is 14 by 180 inches, which is 5 yards in inch, inches. Um, and it gives you just a little margin of safety that's built into the plotter. OK. Everything else stays the same. I click OK and I'm all set to send it out to the, the plotter using that role. OK, for any other information, please go to www.colemanandcompany.com. Check out our blog posts. If you have any questions, you are, of course, welcome to call us at 1-800-891-1094. Thanks. I hope everyone has a great day.